Welcome to the future. <laughs> this is Simeon from praisetracks.com and we are going to take another amazing journey together again today. We're stepping through the doors of time. Time is a um, an amazing, mysterious thing. Wow. So just kind of getting caught up. Chewy, what are you looking at? <clears throat> you need to be looking at everybody. <clears throat> so, Welcome today to the live stream, and let's just do this again. This is Simeon Ambergy with praisetracks.com, home of the joyful sound. And man, it's been hot around these parts the past few days. And you know, there's a there's so much going on. And I I, I know I, I know you get tired of me saying this, but just like there is so much going on in the world of uh, instruments and sample libraries, music technology, uh, things things are just continuing to um, improve and challenge. And uh, let me get myself straightened out here. <laughs> so, you know, anytime you take a a journey, you make sure that you're well hydrated. I think I put my headphone my headphone behind my back, and it's just kind of all out of sorts here. So, all right, all right. So, before we get started with the, um, I guess, you know, a good place to start is at the beginning. So today, uh, I'm officially announcing something um, for the channel, and that is uh, channel memberships. And I've been thinking about this for a long time and trying to figure out the best way uh, best way to do this. And, you know, the only thing that you can do is just is just start. And, you know, we can work together. So when you go to the channel, you're going to see this join button here. And, you know, so, so let's just back up again. So I've been doing this really a lot, um, a lot more frequently over the past couple of years, I think uh, since the pandemic hit in March. And when that happened, it just totally flipped over the world that we live in and everything just sort of changed for all of us. And for me personally, uh, it meant that uh, the, the travel that I was doing, the concerts that I was doing, the uh, people that I was working with, I had been working for one artist for 20 years and that changed. Uh, that stopped because he was at, at a time when he was um, at uh, at a point of retirement and that kind of thing. And so that was kind of like a very pivotal thing. So that stopped. And so projects started slowing down a little bit and all of the things that you are familiar with. I know that this the, the past couple of years, this situation has hit everybody. And so YouTube was a way that I could that I could get on. I could do what I love to do. And that's that's play these wonderful instruments. And then, especially like what we're doing today, these live streams, it give, it's given me the opportunity to meet so many fantastic uh, musicians and developers. And so this channel is just birthed out of a love for music, uh, sharing, and getting to, know, uh, getting to know all of you better. So, it's never. It was. It was really never about getting free libraries. And and I and to be honest with you, uh, about 10, 10 years ago or whatever, when all of this started, you know, that's that's what I would. That's what I would try to do. I would try to beta test or do some of that stuff. But it's it's just gotten so far beyond just getting a free library. And it's about the experiences that we share together. And then if I can in some way. Uh, play an instrument on the channel, and 
be able to let you hear something that you might not be able to hear. You know, so there, there's so many libraries out there. There's no way that you can buy them all. And so by me having the opportunity to play these live and then do videos and things, it gives you an opportunity to hear, um, to hear them. So that is my, that's my thing. I am, I am not like a, a paid spokesperson for any particular company. Uh, there are some developers that uh, that have like audio plugin deals, for instance. I do videos for them, and they uh, they give me a small um, you know donation and and help to support the channel. And also um, audio plugin deals. I have affiliate links with them. I just want to be transparent as we go forward with all of this, and it just to just to let you know where my heart is. And uh, there is my friend Tema, and I'm telling you, so so Tema. Tema has the distinction of being the number one super joyful supporter. And so uh, I, I dearly, uh, you know, I've never, uh, I, you know, I've never met Tema face to face other than on a uh, composer's roundtable live stream that we did. But I can honestly say that there is, there is a love and a camaraderie that we share. And, and I also share with, with others uh, of you. And Remco, yes, I see that. And thank you so much, man. Super joyful. That's great. Uh, because, um, you know, one of the things, and you, you think, well, why does he keep saying joyful, joyful? Okay, so my, uh, I guess if I have a, a theme scripture that I that I love, it's in, the, it's in Psalm 89, 15. Psalm 89, 15 says, blessed are the people who know the joyful sound and they will walk in the light of your countenance and in your joy, they'll, they'll rejoice all day long. And so my thing is, I want us to find the joy in everything. And you know, somebody says, well, how can you find joy in everything? Well, I always wanna keep an attitude of joyfulness uh, because that's the only way that it's gotten me through a lot of difficult situations. And um, so stay joyful and joyful and finding the good in every situation, even when it it almost seems impossible to do. So that's why I kind of named the tiers, uh, you know, joyful, super joyful, and mega joyful. Um, so the thing is, I, I was thinking, okay, so what is the, how is the channel going to develop over the next, how is, how is this going to look? Is this going to be sustainable for me? Because it's, um, you know, I, I really get no income from doing this other than uh, just a little bit of the monetization that YouTube gives for running ads and that kind of thing. Um, but, uh, you know, we got to keep the lights on. We got to keep things sustainable. And, and it takes pressure off of me because there's just like, okay, do I keep doing this? What do I, what do, I do? How do we do this? And so memberships were, is like a, a, a very interesting idea I thought I would try see how things go, and and the things, this is gonna be a process, and you guys are gonna be a part of this, uh, and especially those who uh, who choose to, uh, you know, jump on one of those uh, those membership tiers. Uh, you know, when you do that, you're saying, I really believe in what you're doing, I wanna support you, and and uh, it, just, uh, it just blesses me so much because I love doing this. So, um, let's just go back. So when, when, you, when you click on the join, you're going to see um, a couple of different options, and, and uh, the cool thing is you get uh, these little badges and that kind of thing. So joyful is the basic level, and you know we're going to give shout outs and stuff, and um, and then super joyful, uh, we're going to do like um, priority because sometimes I get a lot of comments, I get a lot of detailed questions, and then we're going to have early access to videos. And then um, there's going to be members only chats and members only live streams that we'll do, and mega joyful. Um, there's going to be uh, I'm going to really try to work on developing a Discord server where we can uh, we can get on there. And if you've got you know specific questions or topics you would like to talk about, we'll have like uh, the the gathering of the joyful or something like that. Um, so. You know, um, CD, I'm not on Patreon, and you know, I just want to try to keep things as simple as I can so I can manage it. Um, you know, Patreon is a good platform. I think memberships for me are just really easy to manage because it's kind of integrated into that YouTube ecosystem. And who knows what might happen down the road? I just thought I would just try this as an experiment. Um, and then you see the live stream MIDI files. So. 
One of the cool things that happens during these live streams is that I've got an application that's recording everything that I'm playing in the background. And you can uh, ex export those as MIDI files. And so that's going to be like a little extra perk uh, that you can get those and just use those for your, for your personal use and to learn and to kind of relive some of those uh, interesting moments. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's it. That launch, I, I mean, I kind of turned it on yesterday, but this is, um, this is something we're just try. And you guys have, you know, just please let me know what you think, like in the comments and suggestions, I'm open because I want to build, uh, build something sustainable. I want to be able to do it without um, uh, just being under so much pressure and just uh, not letting the joy get sucked out of what I love to do. Um, so, so thank you guys for your support. And, um, oh man, okay, so we got some more super joyful action happening. And uh, two Canucks, welcome, welcome, and thank you. And and it's so cool because you can see your um, you can see your your little thing, your your badge, and and that's so wonderful. Thank you guys so much. I'm just so looking forward to this. Okay, so now let's get down to the music, and I'm just going to um, you know that you know commercials over, and uh, everything is good. So. I always want to be as transparent and upfront as possible um, with what we're doing here because I just that's just who I am. I, I want to be able to go to bed at night knowing that I'm doing everything I can uh, and taking care of you guys and taking care of, uh, well, taking care of me first. If you're in an airplane, they tell you to put the oxygen mask on first before helping others. So um, number one, I've got to take care of my family and take care of myself. And uh, then, you know, you guys are so great. And um, so, okay, so Justin, let me just show you. And this will, this will kind of help me uh, tie in with the, um, with the perks and stuff too. So, oh, and let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can pull it up uh, on, the, uh, on their website too. It's called uh, Coyote, Coyote Midi. And I'll see if I can uh, find a link. Um, okay, yeah, there we go. So let's uh, let's just go. Let's just go take a quick look at uh, Coyote MIDI. So this is an application that lets you send out uh, MIDI commands, and it turns them into keystrokes. So it's a MIDI translator. Uh, it's a scripting language, uh, and then. The key for me is the retrospective MIDI recorder. And so what this allows me to do uh, is it's just listening in the background all the time. Uh, you can do complex scripting and, um, and then you can trigger translations to certain applications. It's a super powerful, uh, powerful program. So let me pull that up and show you what this looks like. So this is the application and you, you can set up your translators, and that's what I'm actually, I'm actually using it to, uh, when I'm hitting a, a control button on the mix face, it's actually triggering a keystroke so that I can switch keys in OBS Studio. That's how I'm switching scenes. Instead of using like a, a stream deck, this turns my uh, mix face control buttons into like a stream deck. So these are all my translations that I have and all my hot keys. And now when we go here, I click the recording tab. I click the recording tab. <laughs> and here you go. Now look at this. These are, okay, so like this is from uh, 624. So this is what I just played for the opening. And then we can go all the way down here. I got it turned on infinite so I can um, just record everything. And so it goes all the way back to uh, June the 6th. And so every one of these is a, is a section or a segment when it was capturing MIDI data. And sometimes it'll pick up like um, MIDI control data and that kind of thing, but it's very powerful. And, um, and let, me see, let me see if I can just, um, I'll just drop that link uh, into, um, into the chat. And that way uh, you guys can have access to it. And then I will leave it in the description, um, in the description as well. So I just dropped that into the chat so you can just go and check that out. They've got a free version while it's in um, while it's still in beta. 
and uh, you can download that for free. And there's a pro version that they're working on, but uh, yeah, go check that out. It makes a lot of fun what I, it makes it easy what I do. Um, okay, so here we go. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at today is from a dear, a dear friend, uh, um, Andrew Fly from Cinematic Alpha. That's it, it's Andrew Fly from Cinematic Alpha. And Bernie, thank you so much, man. Um, oh man, he's a mega joyful. <laughs> and that makes me joyful. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's go, um, let's go to Cinematic Alpha and uh, take a look. So Andrew has been so, uh, such a dear friend and I really like to support like smaller developers and those guys that are just getting started. And he is just putting his heart and soul into uh, everything that he does. And it's just really cool. And we're gonna agree to the cookies. So he's come out with this Doors of Time series. And he's also given me a code uh, that we can use, uh, that you can use for 50% off uh, until June the 30th. And so that is off of everything. And they're already on sale, but this will give you an additional 50% off. So you can basically get all of his libraries for under $100, which is really amazing. So yeah, so he's got 70% off, and then you're gonna get an extra 30%, extra 50% off by using uh, the code SIMEON, S-I-M-E-O-N, in all caps. And um, so let's see. Um, and I'll just type this in for 50% off. 50% off until June 30th. Yeah. And then what we're gonna do, Andrew has um, also uh, been generous to give, give us two copies of Doors of Time Future and then two copies of his um, Motus, which is like a concept uh, grand piano, so uh, upright piano. So that's what we're gonna kind of look at today uh, first, first off, and then we've got uh, a lot of other crazy things. Okay, so this is, um, this is Doors of Time's future, but I wanna go ahead and go, um, oh man, so you bought it already. Well, that's good, um, that's good. Thank you for supporting Andrew because he is just uh, such a such a nice guy and a really really nice developer. So we're going to get to uh, Doors of Time's future, but let's start start off with um, with Modus just to kind of um, get things rolling. And this is just like a concept upright piano, and everything is done in uh, in synthesis. That's what Andrew's really trying to push uh, with his instruments is the ability to create instruments from just synthesis. So here we go. And there's my friend Andrew with Cinematic Alpha and just a big shout out to him and blessings. And uh, so here we go with uh, with Modus. And the, the, yeah, it's just like an old upright type of feel. And this is all done with uh, synthesis. just sounds just like a Go ahead and uh, just check out some presets. It, it's just a lot of fun. So the the, uh, the concept was like, you know, and then I hear the um, 
you hear the all the equipment noise going on. Yeah, that's built in. That's just some kind of fun things that he's built in just to kind of bring the nostalgia even more to life. Um, but it was like Andrew was really wanting to capture some memories of him sitting next to his dad on the um, uh, on the upright. Yeah, this is not sampled. It's fully synthesized. That's what makes this kind of cool. This is like a lab experiment that just kind of cool. And then you've just got some different things. And then we can uh, use the mod wheel to kind of animate it. Then we can back it down. It's a lot of fun. Oh, oh yeah. You know, you know what? My wife, uh, uh, my wife was up uh, up during the middle of the night uh, watching a John Wayne uh, stagecoach movie, and it was like that old West. Martha, if we don't get any rain, our crops are gonna are fail. What amazes me that this is just synthesis. And this is for contact full. Yes, you need um, you need the full version of contact in order to use uh, cinematic alpha instruments and you know, one of the things, one of the things that uh, a lot of the other developers that are using the contact player, they always have to pay that really, there's a, there's a really expensive fee that the developers have to pay to native instruments to make it free player compatible. And so, um, so that's, uh, you need the full version with in this case. And I think that native instruments is doing their summer of sound where you can do 50% uh, off on the full version of Contact and the cross grade. So if you find a free Contact Player library, there are many uh, developers that, uh, that have free Contact Player libraries. It qualifies you for the cross grade pricing to the full version of uh, Contact. So I always recommend when that comes around, that's, that's how I got into the full version of Contact myself, uh, was through that cross grade. So uh, let's just pull up a couple of his uh, presets here. And this is infinitum. And uh, this is a lot of fun. Okay, yeah, so this is infinitum. Let's just check out uh, how this sounds. More in the sound design. Yeah, you see, I, I just hit that keystroke. It sends that coyote MIDI and just triggers those, um, those hotkeys. So this gets into more sound design. Great for layering with other things. That's really nice. It's got a really, uh, really different sound to it. Um, close your eyes. Close your eyes. And then I'm, I'm using the quick load here uh, to go and just be able to have just quick, quick access to these patches. And that's a, a great way to do it when you're using uh, the third party libraries like this one. So this is Close Your Eyes. There's a lot of detail in these. Um, let's animate this, let's see.
Thank you, RDG. Appreciate that. That's really nice. And then he's given us some controls over EQ and delays and that kind of thing. Okay, so let's go. Uh, Mr. Serenity. Um, Mr. Serenity. So um, what is it to, um, Lord, help me to um, do the things that I can change and um, not, not worry about the things that I cannot change and the grace to know the difference. Um, and let's animate this. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You get get the, get a little bit of LFOs and different things happening. Yeah. And this it's just it's just amazing. It's amazing what he's packed into this. Okay, let's do one more with Modus and New Life. Oh, let's see. Sunshine. That that's just kind of caught my eye. Okay. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. I guess you say. What can make me feel this way? It's my girl talking about my girl. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. See, a, a patch title just kind of gets the wheels turning back here. Um, that's really cool. Okay, so um, let's um, let's walk into the doors of time future. And I love the trailer that uh, that he put together for this. But when we look into um, into the folders here, we've got uh, percussion, downers, drones, pads, impacts, plucks, risers, and shouts. So what this is to me is like a um, yeah, it's the it's the it's the remix, it's the uh, modus remix of uh, yeah, my girl. <laughs> Yeah, so what, what I feel like Andrew's given us with Doors of Time's Future and with all the Doors of Time series is that these are like toolkits. These are like little toolkits. I guess you could say it's uh, Andrew's version of uh, Spitfire uh, Audio's Albion series uh, because each one of these Doors of Time series focuses on a different theme, gives you different tools, different sounds to kind of construct. They're like little construction kits uh, for your sound world. So let's um, let's just dive in. Let's dive into the door. And somebody says, if God closes a door, uh, He'll open a window. But uh, I think He He wants you to always go through the doors that He opens, and you never want to kick down a door that's not open. Um, that's what I found. So let's go to uh, let's just start at the top and go to percussion. And He's got um, the tempos at one twenty and one fifty. And let's see what the tempo here. I've got it at one ten. So let's uh, let me go ahead and bump that up to 120, just so we can get in the right um, right beats per minute, and we can see that we've got the uh, the beats mapped down here. If I can find them, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. I see. Yeah. So just some drum loops here. Yeah. And then look at this. So you, you see the animated and glide. And what I did, I went ahead and mapped the, um, the controller here. This, um, this, the modul my modulation controller, the joystick here, it goes, um, okay, let's see. Okay, modulation and then glide. Okay, so modulation will animate 
And then Glide is another CC controller that controls the Glide. And I can, I can fire off, um, let's see, yeah, get... Yeah, see, I can animate this, and then I can glide. You, okay, so you hear that? Now what? Listen, listen, it's like a Doppler effect. So I've got it all the way over. Yeah, so that's a, that's some fun. Okay, let's go on. Yeah, you know, <laughs> there's it's just it's just been my experience. You know, so sometimes you you try to make something happen and go through the window that you think is open. And it's like, you don't want to do that. You always want to make sure that it's open. It, the, the door's closed for a reason. Um, so, um, and then we've got uh, percussion at um, 150. Now, this is the same uh, principle behind um, the modus. Everything, all the percussion is built on uh, what Andrew calls dove ints. So it's uh, digital, organic, virtual synthesis technology. And so all of these sounds are created using synthesis, modular synthesis, uh, digital synthesis, uh, but no samples. They're all created digitally. And uh, so that's what makes this uh, really impressive to me is that he's done done this. Just using uh, synths and, and not samples. So this is like 150 beats. So it gives you nice rhythm beds that you can build. Really nice and aggressive sounding. And see if we can just kind of play with it. Layer the layer them together. Yeah, it reminds me of the uh, commercial, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> you know, I can't believe this is not using samples. And uh, it's not nice to fool Mother Nature. And uh, so, uh, yeah, so this is just all synthesis. And let's go. Let's go on to, uh, let's go into the downers. And uh, downers in, the, in a good way. So he's got uh, sync and no sync. Let's load up the no sync first. And these are just little, like little ear candy, little sound design fun. Yeah, little drops. Like the spaceships landing and different things. And again, no samples. Well, Andrew, let me make sure that I'm, I'm saying that right. Like with some of these, are all of these, um, I know the dove instruments are uh, synthesis, but just kind of help me fill in if these down, if some of these other if this other content is as well. Okay, so here we go. Let's go on, and we are going to make it through all of this. And um, let's go to drones and organic pads and listen to a couple of these, and then we'll get into some other really interesting things. So this is the pad that I kind of opened up with, and I actually had it layered with the, one of the pianos in Sonia Score's Time. Always got to do something. Okay, so it's synthesis and morphing. That is incredible. Yeah, you can hear that. And now we can animate this. and then the glide. And I've got that map to this, uh, this joystick here. Yeah. Morpheus. So that just gives you a little more expression. That's cool. Okay, let's do some more of these. Um, 
Well, <laughs> Jack Jack Pluto. Let's that looks interesting. Let's uh, let's check that out. So it's like orchestral synth, you know, synth generated orchestral and stuff and morphed and all this kind of crazy stuff. No, CD, this is Doors of Time's future. So Modus was the uh, the upright, and this is a this is a new library, Mod uh, the Doors of Time future. Okay, so let's keep going. Uh, Interstellar Web, let's do that. Yeah, there's some, some crazy things going on here. And then we've got an arpeggiator in here that you can program. Do all kinds of crazy things with this. And let's go back. Let's go up a little bit higher here. That's a lot of fun. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the, um, I'm gonna go to the Plux and then we can look at what the arpeggiating page does. And uh, Caitlin, good to see you. And um, yeah, so let's just see what we got in the, um, in the Plux. And let's see, let's go to Harpia. And that would kind of, okay, let's see. Oh, okay, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna drag this up. Okay, because I made a modification, and now. So that's without the arpeggiator. Let's go to the arpeggiator page, and let's turn that on. Just give some movement. that I can hold a note and it arpeggiates, but then I can play on top of it. That's fun, and you can go in and edit the um, edit the steps, and you can have it fixed velocity, or these these steps just kind of help with the dynamics of that. And make sure there's a warning here um, to make sure that you do not cover these exhaust fans because you don't want uh, your contact engine to overheat. That's a that's a no no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I we were uh, you know I was sending some pictures back and forth with Andrew about uh, some um, some of the old Amigas, uh, the Amiga computers and the Ataris and that kind of thing, and it's just uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun going going back to those uh, those times. Just wonderful. 
So we've not gotten to uh, time textures yet. Uh, we're we're going to um, we're going to just do that in just a minute here. If we can, let's see. Yeah, there we go. I've got my um, I got those back. Yeah, no cats in front of the screen. And believe me, we we've got a we've got our beautiful cat Saban. And and yeah, man, you find you find um, you find hair and different things. It's just like oh my gosh. <laughs> So uh, let's go to another one of the uh, one of the risers, and uh, let's see, uh, elastic fantastic. That sounds fun. Yeah, man. Now, hey, double helix. What's the temperature? I bet you. Are you guys having the heat down there as well? We used to live in uh, Apopka, Florida, right outside of Orlando. And that's that's been an, that's another time, another place. So he's given us so much stuff. Uh, let's just hit a couple of the other things, the risers, and. Uh, yeah, so we can't have downers without risers. Yeah, some really cool. Cool takeoff. That's really cool. So you got a whole collection of those. That's amazing. And then last but not least, um, we've got some shouts. And this is uh, this is kind of cool. Yeah, just some. Some vowels and and then you can also just go crazy with the different uh, effects. Yeah, it's like the aliens that greet the ship when you land. Um, okay, so we've got some multis. Okay, let's see if we can let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can do that, Andrew. Let me um, let me go back out here and. Um, and see if I can find those. So I'm gonna go uh, to uh, Doors of Time's Future, Presets. Okay, you know what? I'm not, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm seeing those. Oh man, okay. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's see, let me drop this in. Let me drop this in. Okay, here we go. Got a multi here. Okay, let's see. Let's close the browser. And uh, yeah. Steven, what's up? Hey, ya. <laughs> so this is uh, using the alien calls, Jack Pluto. Just three organic pads stuck together. So the pads by themselves are great, but then you put them in the multis like this and it just takes it takes it to another level. Um, yeah, and Stephen, I just wanna thank you for what you've uh, helped to create in the uh, sampling community. And you know, you've been an inspiration to so many that are um, sampler, samplist and working in this type of field. And um, man, much, much uh, admiration and, and appreciation for what you've uh, been doing, uh, like with Piano Book and those uh, other, you know, endeavors. It's just an incredible thing to see and to be a small part of. And so we're going to have to have another Piano Book Nook soon. Um, <laughs> so it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's see. Let's go to uh, the drones and organic plucks. Um, I'm going to um, just clear. Let's see if I can reset the multi, and then we're going to load this in. And I'm just gonna pick one out of, out of the sky here. Yeah. Okay, now this has got some plucks and, um, and pads together. So here we go.
they're like little mini, mini scores, mini scores in a box. Oh man. So that's a little walk. Listen to that. It's still going. I love things that just continue to move and evolve. So that's, that is so cool. So make sure, make sure you check out the links in the description for Cinematic Alpha. And I just really appreciate Andrew and what he's doing and want to just do all I can to let you guys know about it and support, uh, support him. Uh, use the code SIMEON in all caps for an additional 50% off until June 30th. And uh, just experience some of the cinematic alpha magic. Um, it, is, um, it is great. Okay, so let's uh, go on to the next, uh, the next item on the agenda. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like Axel, the, the Axel F uh, type of thing. Yeah, this is, brings a lot, a lot of nostalgia too. In the futuristic, there's nostalgia, or in nostalgia, there's futuristic things that happen. I, I just find that so amazing that with all of these modern sci-fi uh, blockbuster movie scores, we are going to like primitive instruments and different things to uh, reflect a sense of the future. So you've you kind of have to go back uh, in order to look forward. So um, very interesting indeed. Um, as Spock would say, very interesting, very interesting. Okay, so, um, okay, let's go on to um, Sonya Score. And Sonya Score has uh, been around for quite a while, and they are, they are best known for the, the orchestra series and with partners with Best Service. And what uh, Sonya Score typically has done is partner with other, um, other developers, other musicians and that type of thing to create their libraries. Like they would partner with Best Service or they would partner with other um, established developers or companies. But this, this product, Time Textures, this, this title is totally an in-house Sonya Score endeavor. And so they've just taken everything that they've kind of learned from these other projects and just kind of stepping out on their own with their own um, own product here, own library for contact. And it is a uh, full NKS compatible free player library. And they use a lot of some of the similar techniques that um, they have used in the orchestra series. And so let's, um, let's just go and not, um, not waste any more, uh, any more time. And so I'm going to just get this, um, this window adjusted just a little bit more so we can kind of, we can make sure that we see everything. But uh, let me show you. So we can go in and load, um, let me go back to the browser so we can see. So it loads in its own single NKI. And I just really like when developers do that, they integrate everything into one NKI so it makes it easy to get around. And so we're gonna collapse that again. And let's just go, to the the patch browser here. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, yeah. So yeah. So my, yeah, my wife is saying all the time, yeah, merch. So so what we can do? Yeah, we'll get we'll see what we can do. We we'll get that going. Uh, so we can get some coffee mugs and and t shirts and stuff. So who knows? And uh, and that would be kind of cool to. Uh, yeah, I know. We're just like we're we're crazy. This this is this is live and this is fun. This is what I love. Uh, and so, so like suggestions of sayings and and little slogans and stuff that would be fun to put on T-shirts and things. That would be kind of fun. Make those suggestions. You can send me a message or leave them in the comments. Just, just let's we'll have fun. Everybody needs a Praise Tracks coffee mug. Uh, so, <laughs> okay. So let's go back to time. So we can go here and go to init. Oh, no, init is like their initial patch. That's what I was just kind of messing with in the in the in the beginning and trying to learn my my way around. But I love the category browsers, so we can go to single uh, single instruments or couple. So they use two sound sources. So what I'm going to do, I'm just um, 
I'm just going to go to um, the first one. Let's just go to the first. Let's go to the first one, lunar eclipse, and let's just uh, take a look at these. There's nothing formal about what we do here. It's just about the joy of having fun and exploring and just finding uh, finding out things as we go. Um, I do try to read the manual a little bit more, but sometimes you don't get a chance. Okay, okay, so that's, we're out of we're out of the future and we're back in time. So let's get back in time. But here we go, this is Lunar Eclipse. We've got two sound sources. We've got Grand Piano and Arco Basses. And you see, we've got some particles going on, so it uses a particles type of engine. Okay. And we've got the particles going in with the bases. Now the magic that happens with these time textures is with the mod wheel. It affects everything. So let me pull up the... Um, so let's see what we've got. Let's go to the the controls here. We, we click on this little hamburger button here. Looks like a three patty hamburger. Now we have dynamic movement, octaves and speed on both of these sound sources and it's controlled by CC1. And we're down with the, just the piano part. And then the bass is up here. Now the black section of the keys is where the two sound sources overlap. Yeah, just let that go. And if you look real close, you can see that the the dynamic is is what is mapped to the uh, to the time uh, the macro the macro control. Um, so we can uh, we can assign all of these to the macro control by clicking the little time icon, and then you can see even another little circle is inserted in there, and we can use the arrows on the control to actually set the amount of movement for all these parameters. So it's a very multi-layered uh, dynamic control. So we can map all of the different ca uh, characteristics of these sound sources to the mod wheel, and they are adjusted in relationship to where that mod wheel is. And we can, we can assign uh, where the positioning is and that kind of thing. So it gives you a lot of power. So you, of course, you got the dynamics and then movement. There, there are like four different articulations per each sound source. There are multiple round robins and that kind of thing. So let's go to another patch. I'm just going to go to uh, the Aurora Borealis and we have harps and piano. Here. Let's see. Let's go to another key here. I'm going to pull the mod wheel down some.
Uh, let's see, Devo the Devonian Forest, and this is violas and piano. Let it rise, let it build. It's got violas, the harmonics. And then as we push that mod wheel up, it gets a little more Excitable. Chris, I agree. I mean, I, the thing is, it the 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 instrument tells me the story, and I just kind of just kind of send it on to you guys because when I'm hearing those sounds, I'm hearing all of that stuff going on. It's painting pictures. I'm literally um, in my mind just seeing pictures, um, you know, just like little films or movies or scenes that you know that the sound just generates. It's just, it, it's an incredible thing. I, I don't particularly know how to, um, how to explain it, but um, it's, um, it's just wonderful. Okay, okay, so, um, okay, so are you talking about, um, okay, so, so BB-8, B, okay, so, okay, so you're not seeing that uh, on this shot, but, um, on this on this shot, BB-8. This is the Sphero. Uh, Sphero came out with a whole bunch of um, these these robots, uh, the Star Wars robots, and and uh, this is the Sphero R2D2. And so it's a lot of fun. I love playing around with the with this kind of stuff. And uh, this is like a little quick uh, mini tour. So so this is this is my first film scoring award. <laughs> If you want to, if you want to say that, uh, so this was the uh, 2021 um, 2021 winner of the Sunny Side Up Film Festival, and I did um, a some music for a teaser trailer for a screenplay called Dreams of Petaluma. I think I actually have it on the channel, so if you look, uh, you might see that there. So that was uh, that was this is, and it's also I think my first IMDb credit as well. So that's kind of fun, uh, the Sunny Side Up Film Festival. And and of course I've got like Lego I've got the Lego sets over here and the thing is I've got to put them together. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I just love uh, just walking through the Lego store sometimes and just imagining and having fun. But uh, that's what I love about music production. Um, yeah, the Sunny Side Up Film Festival and and the and let me okay. So while we're so the funny thing is so if you look close that the um, the reels of the film are like uh, cast iron skillets with uh, eggs sunny side up. So that's, uh, that's, that's where they go. And it's a film festival in Texas. It's just a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Okay. So BB-8 was named after the Beastie Boys. Oh, my goodness. And, you know, if anything, you know, anything good that J.J. did for Star Wars, I guess BB-8 was probably one of the one of the few things that I think he did probably good for the, uh, I, I mean, I'm, the trilogies, eh, you know, they're okay. I don't want to get into like Star Wars stuff, but uh, I'm, I'm an original, um, original trilogy guy because I sat in the theater when I was in middle school in 77 and I saw, I saw the original Star Wars on the screen for the first time. And 
it just got me inspired. And one of these things, one of the other things is that this has been compared a lot to orchestral tools, time, micro, and macro. And honestly, they're they're not they're not they're not really the same because uh, what orchestral tools time does, it's it's like the orchestra's you know the articulations are evolving over time. This is doing a little bit of different approach uh, with it. Um, that is different. The name sounds familiar, and and the, the thing is, there's only so many names out in the universe, and some, and you're gonna, you're gonna bump into uh, a lot of things uh, overlapping sometimes. So you got to find out the good in each. Uh, you got to find what what the product is, the instrument is, and what makes it special. Okay. You know, there's 25 orchestral instruments that they sampled, and we, we've got those listed here, and we can combine those. Let's just go through a couple of more here. Let's go to um, IC Cryogenian. Okay, man, so this has got violins and clarinets um, here. So let's let's check it out. And then you've got the particles. And then all of these different things. Let's just take it all the way down. You hear the clarinet? Now let's just listen to the clarinet by itself. A tenuto. That's really nice and mysterious. And let's bring the uh, violins, the harmonics. That gives it that iciness. And then we've got a whole rack of effects that we can assign to each source. Um, so we've got a lot of distortion, uh, reverbs and delays, all kinds of things. And you can click on the rack and insert uh, what you need to do here. Yeah, the digital delay. And we've got different things going on with that. Distortion, reverb, delay. And then we've got an another delay slot that we can, that we can go for tape saturation, all kinds of cool things. Okay, let's keep going. Thank you guys for joining me. It's just such a pleasure always. Okay. Oh, incoming. Thank you. I, you know what? I, I, I said, I said, I've got, let me, let me just go ahead and cheers to everybody. Blessings and Blessings to my beautiful wife. Hey, Debbie, you want you, you, you want to say hi? You just want to peek your head around? I know I'm, I'm I embarrass her all the time, but um, oh, <laughs> this is this is the love of my life for 36 years in August, and I could not. Um, yes, 
<laughs> I could not do, I know I'm, a, she's going she's gonna to get me after this. Yeah, she's going to get me. Um, I could not do, um, cannot do what I'm doing without, um, without, couldn't do it, honey. Um, me either. I can't do it. I can do it without you. Blessing. We're, bl we're blessed. Uh, yeah, BF says hello. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man. Such a joy. Yeah, man. I tell you, it just seemed like yesterday, 36 years, you're talking about time, 36 years, man, flies by so fast. And and they say as time progresses, it tends to get faster. And um, so, um, oh, and the thing is, if you don't know the story, I met her. I met her on a Sunday. Uh, some friends of hers, uh, a friend of hers invited her and a friend of mine who was dating her friend invited me to go to Sunday brunch after church. And so we went to Sunday brunch and um, and then um, had a beautiful time. Uh, the guy was playing the piano in the restaurant, the revolving restaurant in, in downtown. And, um, and the next Monday, uh, so eight days later, I asked her to marry me and and we've been married for almost 36 years, so it's been quite a ride uh, for sure. So, okay, so let's go. Let's go back to time. Time. If I could have time in a bottle. Okay, let's go to rhythmic. Uh, let's go to the character here. And so when we click on a character, uh, one of these filters, these are like browser filters. So if we wanna see all the violin sounds that are rhythmic, uh, then we then we got two isotope hydrology. Let's just do that. That's kind of cool. And this is just using a single source. Oh, that's wild. That's the saltesto. That's just like gritty and. Now let's just see. And you just see all of these concentric circles, and they correspond, of course with these dynamic movements and different things. Yeah, it's really, really amazing. Evaporation. And we've got two here. We've got uh, Arco vi violas and uh, Soltesto um, violins. We've got a little rhythmic things going on here, and the LFO is helping us do that. Yeah, look at that. So this is uh, using the LFO to modulate the high gain on the um, filter here. And look at this, look at the second source. Now when I'm, when I'm, uh, when I've got the mod wheel down, look at the mid frequencies, uh, look at the mid frequencies on source number two. Now when I move the mod wheel up, it's actually mapped to one of the time parameters in the middle. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool because every parameter here has has the little time icon. This uh, this the three slashing lines that represent the letter M. You see that on all of these parameters, and when you click that, boom, you can assign that to a function, um, and then you can use the arrows to increment where you how much you want it to affect that, um, and then we can always click the X and just unassign it. But that's so cool. You're altering those frequencies like that. And 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 again, all of those controls are mappable to this uh, time macro uh, control. Okay. Ah, interesting. Let's go to rhythmic, uh, rhythmic piano and bioluminescence. And we've got two, uh, we've got a felted piano and a grand piano. Yeah, no, nothing going on with the LFO here. 
And even the effects parameters can be connected to the macro knob here. Wow. And then of course you have control over the particle engine and all of that is automatable with the um, texture control. send those effects um yeah you can send these effects let's see so the particles let's go to the particles and so so the pan the pan is assigned so let's just um let's see what we can do let's let's assign the uh, speed so we can we can see the speed is highlighted here and we can go Okay, so we can we can change the amount um, or the, the range with the, you know, you click and hold the uh, up and down arrows and you can drag with the mouse and that will kind of increase or decrease um, the amount that it's gonna be affected. So now I've got this on sp to speed and you can see, you know, I hope you can see that you can, you can see that control. Let's just play this. So you push that up and the speed will increase. Let me, um, let's see if I can just turn, uh, let me turn the, this off so we can actually hear what's going on with the felt. And you can see as I'm moving the mod, mod wheel down, the particles change to reflect that change in parameter. That's really interesting to me. The... It's just got a very unique tone. And then what we can do too, uh, we can use the dice to randomize the particles, what they call the seed. Um, so we can just go boom and, and it changes what the particles do. And then we can do note select, lowest, middle notes. Let's just do the, let's do the middle notes. So it's only affecting those middle notes that we're playing here. Let's hit the seed randomizer again. Some really interesting things going on. Let's turn that, uh, let's turn the notes select off. It's really kind of um, interesting dark type sounds that I'm hearing. Um, so let's see, Piano Grand Dynamic. Let's check that out. So velocity, if I play it soft, it's going to be kind of like a, like a pad. That's nice. And CPU is about 4% on this. A lot of times uh, patches that use the particles type engines really are heavy on CPU. But this is kind of surprisingly light. So 
So heavier velocities uh, trigger more of the attack. Softer is more like a pad with the round robins and the dynamic layers. Let's, um, let's go to, um, let's see, some uh, of the, oh, well, magical. Let's go to um, magical violins. Um, let's see. Am, Amonidia. Amonidia. So this is uh, violins and piano. It's a very... And the violins, they've got that, just that real gritty. Nah, no, that's nice. And we can set different outputs. Um, you can set the different sound sources to different outputs. And of course, we can MIDI learn all of these controls. And then we have octave. We can shift the octave down or up. And you see that overlap. Just so cool. And, you know, the violins and things, uh, they're that real um, unusual, gritty, airy type of, um, of sound, atmospheric pressure. So we've got the soltasto violins and the arco and the celli. Good night, RDG. God bless you. May the road always rise to meet you. And we'll push this mod wheel. It almost sounds uh, like a big analog synth in a way.
So cool. Let's back the mod. CC1 down. Listen to how the dynamic changes. We can go from very... It's almost like Van, some Van, Chariots of Fire. Uh, there's a theme in Chariots of Fire Vangelis did that, that that melody reminds me of. We've got some LFO things going on here. I'm just uh, when you find a sound like this, it kind of just you don't you just want to stay a little bit. Time. It's time. 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 It's time to think about. The time that we have, the moments we have, to not lose any, to not lose any time. Now, time to show kindness. Time to show love, time to be joyful, time, it's time. Um, 
time is precious. And we don't realize it sometimes. <laughs> we don't realize how precious it is until we find less and less of it. And, and someone said that time is a gift. That's why they call it the present. I want to live in this moment. I want to live in the moments that we have. Don't want to carry the baggage. Don't want to carry the baggage of the past. Don't want to pick up the burdens of the future. And I want to live in this moment because this moment is all we have right now. just amazing. I'm grateful, grateful for these moments together. I want to thank um, Cinematic Alpha. I want to thank Sonia Score for allowing me to experience these instruments and share that experience with you. Once again, I want to thank you for um, just all the love and support that you guys have given to the channel and to me personally through messages and different things it means a lot and we are just getting started on some amazing journeys yet to be yet to yet to be had journeys yet to be so thanks for spending this time with me i know we're saying time a lot but it's really precious and this has been wonderful to be able to spend it with you. Thanks for all of you who have joined the channel. You know, we're just beginning. So this is Simeon with praisetracks.com. Stay joyful. Stay joyful. I'll see you next time.